Alan, chief engineer on ops, addressed the team with a mix of frustration and pride. Y'all suck, he joked before adding, the landing? We're on the moon. What an epic moment in human history. The U.S. just achieved a groundbreaking milestone, its first ever fully successful commercial moon landing. Firefly Aerospace's privately built lunar lander, carried by SpaceX's Falcon 9, made a flawless touchdown on the moon's surface on Sunday, March 2nd, a moment that will be remembered forever. But the excitement doesn't stop there. As it descended, and even after landing, the spacecraft began transmitting stunning images in real time, leaving space enthusiasts speechless. And the thrill continues later this week, as another lunar lander launched by SpaceX is set to arrive, potentially securing yet another record for the US and SpaceX. Early on the morning of March 2nd, a private lunar lander carrying a drill, vacuum, and various experiments for NASA successfully touched down on the moon. The lander was developed by Firefly Aerospace, an American private aerospace firm headquartered in Cedar Park, Texas, specializing in small and medium lift launch vehicles for commercial orbital missions. Firefly is the latest in a series of companies striving to establish a commercial presence on the moon ahead of upcoming astronaut missions. Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost has been on its journey since launching with SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket on January 15th, traveling more than 2.8 million miles. Equipped with 10 NASA instruments, the lander autonomously descended from lunar orbit, targeting the slopes of an ancient volcanic dome within an impact basin on the moon's northeastern near side. During its descent, Blue Ghost skillfully avoided two hazards before selecting a safe landing site. Mission Control, located outside Austin, Texas, confirmed the successful touchdown following the action, some 225,000 miles, 360,000 kilometers, away. You all stuck the landing. We're on the moon. Firefly's Coogan, chief engineer for the lander, reported. Firefly Aerospace aimed for a precise 100-meter landing zone in an area known as Mare Crisium, and early indications suggest they hit their target. The team conducted final landing rehearsals just hours before the actual descent. I always had full faith in this team. We've been working so hard, but not just hard, smart, Firefly's Allensworth said. We really did focus on what are the highest risks that we need to burn down, what are the things we need to absolutely test, analyze, model, and then practice. Firefly achieved a controlled and stable landing, making it the first private company to place a spacecraft on the moon without crashing or toppling over. Even nations have struggled with this feat, with only five, Russia, the US, China, India, and Japan, successfully accomplishing it. The company stated on X, we have confirmation. Blue Ghost stuck the landing. Firefly just became the first commercial company in history to achieve a fully successful moon landing. This small step on the moon represents a giant leap in commercial exploration. Congratulations to the entire Firefly team, our mission partners, and our NASA customers for this incredible feat that paves the way for future missions to the moon and Mars. NASA's administrator, Jared Isaac Mann, sent his congratulations. This is a big deal. Congratulations on the lunar landing accomplishment. Greg Abbott, governor of Texas, expressed his excitement. Congratulations to Texas-based Firefly Space for successfully landing Blue Ghost on the moon early on this Texas Independence Day. Fifty-six years ago, Texas was at the forefront of the first moon landing. Texas will continue to dominate in space exploration. Senator Ted Cruz, representing the state of Texas in the United States Senate, wrote on X, Congratulations to Firefly Space, who made history with the first fully successful commercial moon landing. This achievement showcases Texas's ingenuity and opens new frontiers for exploration and innovation. This is the first step in sending Americans back to the moon. Apollo 11 astronaut Buzz Aldrin cheered on Firefly's mission operations in Cedar Park, Texas, near Austin, on Sunday, giving them a thumbs up and offering congratulations on social media. Contact light. Engine stop. Congratulations, Firefly Aerospace for Blue Ghost Mission 1 successful moon landing today.
It also marks a new milestone in the collaborations between NASA and private space companies as part of NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services, CLPS, program. With not a minute to waste, a half hour after landing, Blue Ghost started to send back pictures from the surface. The first one was a selfie, somewhat obscured by the sun's glare. The second shot included the moon's surface and Earth on the horizon. Blue Ghost's solar panel, X-band antenna, left, and Lexi payload, right, are also in view. The third and final image shows Blue Ghost's shadow seen on the moon's surface. Previously, Blue Ghost beamed back detailed shots of the moon's gray, pockmarked surface. At the same time, an onboard receiver tracked and acquired signals from the U.S. GPS and European Galileo constellations, an encouraging step forward in navigation for future expeditions. So, are you excited for the success of Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost? Drop the hard icon in the comments. Two other landers are in close pursuit of Blue Ghost, with the next one set to touch down on the moon on Thursday, March 6th. This towering, slender 15-foot-tall, 4.5M, spacecraft, built and operated by Houston-based Intuitive Machines, is named Athena, part of the Nova Sea Lander series. It launched aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from NASA's Kennedy Space Center on February 26, 2025, and is headed for the bottom of the moon, just 100 miles, 160 kilometers, from the South Pole, closer to the pole than the company's previous attempt last year. Their first lander, Odysseus, aboard Falcon 9, made history as the first U.S. lunar landing since Apollo 17 in 1972 and the first private spacecraft to reach the moon, though it suffered a landing mishap, breaking a leg and tipping over. With this second mission, Intuitive Machines aims to solidify its place in lunar exploration. A successful landing by Athena would make the company the second commercial entity in history to achieve a fully successful moon landing. If all goes well, SpaceX's Falcon 9 will also further cement its legacy, having successfully launched three lunar landers, IM-1, IM-2, and Blue Ghost. Another milestone in spaceflight history, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket stands as the most reliable and most frequently launched rocket in history, revolutionizing spaceflight with its unmatched reusability and cost efficiency. As of February 27, 2025, Rockets from the Falcon 9 family have been launched 457 times, with 454 full mission successes, three failures, and one partial failure. With that said, SpaceX has launched over 80% of Earth's payload to orbit. Its proven track record of success has made it the go-to choice for NASA and private customers alike, securing its role in high-stakes missions, from deploying critical satellites to flying astronauts to the International Space Station. Falcon 9 has consistently delivered. Its reliability has also been proven in lunar exploration missions, successfully launching the lunar landers of Intuitive Machines and Firefly Aerospace. In addition, NASA is also launching a ride-sharing mission on the SpaceX rocket known as Lunar Trailblazer, a spacecraft that will map water ice on the moon, all of which further cements Falcon 9's legacy as a cornerstone of modern space travel. Meanwhile, a third lunar lander from the Japanese company Space is still about three months away from reaching its destination. It launched alongside Blue Ghost from Cape Canaveral on January 15th but is following a longer, more circuitous path. Like intuitive machines, Space is attempting its second moon landing after its first attempt ended in a crash in 2023. Following Blue Ghost's landing, Allensworth confirmed that lunar operations were already in progress. We've already begun moving into surface commissioning and getting started on those payload operations. So, you know, we landed at the very beginning of the lunar day, and we really want to maximize that entire time on the surface and really get as much payload data back as possible for all of our customers. Over the next couple of hours, Blue Ghost will perform surface commissioning with health checks on each subsystem. Once completed, the lander will be ready to perform its payload operations and science demonstrations. Over the next 24 hours, Blue Ghost will deploy its surface access arm with the electrodynamic dust shield and lunar planet vac, calibrate the top deck gimbal to support the lunar environment, enable operations for the heliospheric X-ray imager, and activate radiation-tolerant computers, stereo cameras for lunar plume studies, and the lunar Genesis receiver experiment. 
The mission is planned to last 14 days, but the Firefly team hopes to extend its duration beyond that limit. Similar to Intuitive Machines Lander, Blue Ghost carries scientific instruments as part of NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services, CLPS, program. Firefly aims to capture stunning imagery from the moon, including a total solar eclipse on March 14th as seen from the lunar surface. As the mission nears its end on March 16th, Blue Ghost will enter lunar night, and the team hopes to document a rare lunar sunset, reminiscent of what Apollo 17 astronaut Eugene Cernan described. Only four astronauts have ever witnessed this phenomenon, known as lunar horizon glow, where moon dust appears to shimmer even after the sun has set. Firefly CEO Jason Kim likened the effect to fireflies dancing across the moon's surface. We're going to continue to operate the lander as long as our batteries have a state of charge and that we can continue to get data, Allensworth said. There's a lot of really interesting phenomena that'll happen, particularly at sunset, that we really want to make sure and capture. We've talked a lot about the regolith and this phenomenon of levitating off the surface throughout Blue Ghost's mission. NASA's scientific instruments aim to test and demonstrate lunar subsurface drilling technology, regolith sample collection capabilities, global navigation satellite system abilities, radiation-tolerant computing, and lunar dust mitigation methods. The data captured could also benefit humans on Earth by providing insights into how space weather and other cosmic forces impact Earth. Named after a rare species of fireflies found in the U.S., Blue Ghost was designed with stability in mind. The compact, four-legged lander stands 6 feet 6 inches, 2 meters, tall and spans 11 feet, 3.5 meters, wide, a shape that enhances its balance, according to the company. Launched from Florida in mid-January, Blue Ghost carried 10 NASA experiments to the moon. The space agency invested $11 million for the delivery and an additional $44 million for the onboard science and technology. This marks the third mission under NASA's Commercial Lunar Delivery Program, which aims to foster competition among private companies and lay the groundwork for future astronaut missions later this decade. NASA aims to maintain a schedule of two private lunar landers per year, acknowledging that some missions may not succeed, according to Nikki Fox, the agency's chief science officer. It really does open up a whole new way for us to get more science to space and to the moon, Fox said. Firefly CEO Jason Kim noted the stark contrast between these commercial missions and NASA's Apollo landings, which had massive budgets and highly trained astronauts in control. In contrast, Private companies must work with tighter financial constraints, relying solely on autonomous robotic landers to reach the lunar surface.